Hello there again, YouTube. It's once again I, your Gothic Coast with the most Knox Burst. I'm back to bring you more Blasphemous Brews. Today's brew is the Beatbox Cranberry Dreams. I don't know why the hell there's a skateboard down there. I'm pretty sure there's something I'm missing. I don't know. I'm 38 years old. I don't get all the pop culture references. Sorry, I listen to heavy metal, not pop. At any rate, so much like the vibe by Vendang, uh, it the box is colored to make you think of the fruit that's inside of it. Uh, there's no real, well, actually, there's real signage. Well, not really. Contains alcohol, world's tastiest party punch. Best served chilled. Must be 21 or older. Has the same kind of uh, QR code on the outside. Has the plastic neutral seal on Ooh, plastic neutral. That is a good thing. That's actually better than the Van Dang was. Uh, which means this, this is not only very well recycled, but that the company, uh, the company only takes in enough plastic products to use what they make. There should be very, and they recycle stuff that is sent back to them through some sort of pro program. That is what it, that means. So, kind of neat. I'm glad I know that. Continuing. So, uh, it has the same kind of QR code on the outside as the Vendang did, which means that it probably has some sort of animation that goes on the outside, or there's some sort of neat little video that gets unlocked. We will find out another time, and again, I will see if I can get it recorded. I don't really know if I can do that or not with this phone. At any rate, we'll find out. Uh, Best Surf Chilled has the bottles on the outside, makes you think of cranberry juice, so apparently this is going to taste really, really like cranberry. Maybe cranberry and vodka? I don't know. But let's find out. Uh, I will note, this was the same exact price as the Van Dang, which is why I didn't notice that it was a different brand. And it is only 11.1% alcohol by volume, so you lose one point or 0.9%. Uh, which, I don't know if you care about those sorts of things, but for the same price, why not just go with the Van Dang? 12% instead of 11 So, looks just like the Vendang. Hmm. No, it doesn't, actually. This is much deeper in ruby color. It looks just like actual cranberry juice. Smells like cranberry juice. That tastes remarkably like cranberry juice. Is this a wine, or what is this exactly? Prague de Mexico. Cool. This says contains alcohol. So I'm guessing that this is a wine product. Uh, probably much like the Vendang, it's just a naturally flavored wine that is only flavored to taste like cranberries. Probably... Uh, Vented with a really neutral white grape, and then you add in cranberry juice at the end of the finishing process, and you basically just make it taste like cranberry. Kind of neat. I like it. I like the novelty of these things. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of cool to see something that is gluten free marketed towards those of us who can't drink that stuff, and I feel like this is the answer to many of the malt beverage brands that we have going on right now that are making, like, flavored ales, such as Reds, the, uh, you know, the Wicked Apple, or the stuff coming out from Jack Daniels, or from, I saw uh, Anheuser-Busch, I believe, this last weekend when I went grocery shopping. I went to just take a look and see what actually exists, and I think they're all getting into that pre-mixed, pre-canned um, market. So it's nice to see someone is having the folks with gluten issues in mind. Hopefully, this will pick up and this won't get cancelled out, because that's happened to a lot of the crap that is gluten-free. I remember the Rainbow Burst. I was actually just talking about this earlier today with my uh, father-in-law. Budweiser made it like three or four, probably three years ago. And it was a rice beer. 
and it tasted amazing. And it tasted kind of like uh, Concord grapes mixed with Sprite, essentially. And I thought it was great. And the wife liked it too. And you know, it was like three seventy-five a can, which is kind of the sweet spot, I guess. And of course, I liked it, so they canceled it within like six months of creating it. Fucking A! Especially for those of us who can't drink fucking gluten. Like, make something that doesn't have goddamn gluten in it so I can buy it. You want my money? Give me something I can drink. Not a hard fucking thing to do. I'm sorry, but it's just not. And I don't like things by a huge bottle. I can't drink huge bottles. I can drink small bottles. Or I can invest in something if it is worth the money for a big bottle. But so few companies make stuff that isn't just straight up like Sutter Home Select wine. Or an enormous goddamn fuck-off ball of Manischewitz. And I think you all see where I'm going with this. At any rate, uh, rant, rant over. I, I have issues with the way that the market targets the gluten-free portion of its audience. And I don't think it's very fair. But that's kind of a whole other accessibility rant that we can go on another time. At any rate, this tastes really good. It tastes like what a cranberry vodka should taste like in a wine box. And that, I'm sure, is the point. Again, for 11.1% alcohol percentage by volume, 375. I buy it. I give it an 8.5 out of 10. It tastes perfectly accept perfectly acceptable. That's all I have to say, I suppose. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you like this shit. Some of people have been getting... Uh, involved lately in the comments. I'm really enjoying that. Let's keep the conversation going. Let's keep the conversation growing. I really love hearing from you, even if you don't have my viewpoint, which a lot of you, which a few people haven't on the last couple videos. By the way, this channel will always stand up for LGBTQ plus identities, especially those who are trans and those who are put upon and predated upon by mainstream society. Go fuck yourself if you have a problem with that. A couple of you said that before in the last video, and uh, guess what? It's my channel, so... Ah, uh, freedom of speech. At any rate, I have been Knox Burzum. This has been Enter the Void. Peace, love, and happy fucking mail, folks. And pull back the curtain. Happy Fourth of July. Goodbye!